Okay, got another one uh, for you guys today. Uh, we got Warcraft um, Duratan version two, I believe it is. It's um, it's part of the Epic series uh, Damn Toys line uh, for the Warcraft movie. And Duratan is that main orc character in that movie. Um, and uh, plays quite a, a big role in the movie and obviously in the Warcraft uh, lore as well but uh i'm actually just trying to find a position to stand here because it's so friggin' massive try and get you guys a full view of it just on my iphone here but i'm sort of two meters away from it and it's still not getting the whole <laughs> the whole uh, picture here with the axe up the top there he's about <laughs> i think he's about 35 inches tall something like that um massive statue uh someone the guy i bought it off um in victoria he did tell me it was big he told me it was bigger than than hell scream here and i was like yeah i'll see <laughs> i'll see when it comes in and yeah it's 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 uh it's huge but um like the other uh damn toys um warcraft uh, statues it's no exception in how amazing the detail is um every single bit of this is phenomenal uh nothing nothing has been missed every piece of detail leather and chains and bones and fur and you know feathers and every single bit is just enormously detailed you know hairy chest <laughs> nipples scarring he's even got you know scarring work even even in the face in the portrait he's got veins and stuff on the side of his head he's got creases the teeth are done really well mouth is done really well the eyes are realistic you know it's these these are the best statues i've ever seen these this damn tories um epic series line the hair and the braiding in the hair, everything, everything, everything. That's why I just I've said to myself in previous videos that I wouldn't buy anymore for a little while. But you know, after getting Hellscream here and uh, and um, Orgrim here, I uh, I just yeah, there was there was no way I wasn't going to buy anymore. So the uh, I'll give you guys a quick view of the base, simplistic sort of base. Um, uh, you know, rock base from the theme from the movie. Nothing too crazy. It is a large base though. It's quite big. Um, good weight to it. Not crazy, crazy heavy. Fair few skulls and stuff in the base. Um, relatively simple, but then keeps the detail on the statue itself. I'll try not to stuff the lighting. Give you guys a view of the boots, the fur, and the mail. You know, the armor, the tusks. Yeah, it's phenomenal. You got uh, part of his loin cloth here, I guess. The feathers and the wolf. The wolf helmet detail. Another bone structure on the on the waist. You know, he's got some rope. <laughs> rope accents. More fur. Leather. Phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, necklaces, braiding of the hair, you know, fists are really well done, very lifelike. You know, again, even the um, fingernails, everything on point. Let's come up to the, you know, the bicep with the detail <laughs> chain <laughs> chains around the the wrists, hands. Again, look how detailed that is. Phenomenal. Weapon's done well. It's not um, metal or anything like that, but uh, it it uh, looks good. Paint job looks nice. Um, obviously, in a and the the reason this is a version two is that they had the version one, um, which is more of a pose like Magni, which is a bit of a, a museum pose where he's not really doing much. This is a bit of an action pose, a bit more dynamic. Um, I think they gave you the option of what you'd like to purchase. 
I went for this one uh, for a couple reasons. A, a, it was the only one I could get my hands on. Um, and B, the version one, I believe, had a couple of issues with magnetizing. Um, I spoke to a few people that said that they cancelled their pre-orders on that after they found that out. And um, there was a few issues there. So, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I sort of played it safe and went with this one. And, yeah, more than happy with this one. It goes really well with the hell screen, I think. Um, and I've got him next to my Magni and also King Lane. And then I've got uh, another Warcraft... Uh, I keep forgetting this guy's name, King Varian. King, I think it's Varian. And then I've just quickly too, well, I'll do another video as well on Black Hand here, which is phenomenal. Um, fucking off the charts, this statue. <laughs> Can't explain how good this statue is. Um, I'll do another video on Black Hand. Look at the bones and the... The details, oh, I'll do, I'll do a video on that. Um, yeah, obviously Orgrim here. A few more Warcraft pieces that I have. Illidan, uh, Lich King, Sylvanas, and Old Soldier here. So, yeah, so I've got quite a few Warcraft pieces, considering him. Yeah, Arthas there. Uh, Lane, Magni, Durotan, Hellscream. So yeah, it's coming along really well. I've redone, I've built those cabinets that these guys are on. I redone all this section here because of obviously the size issues I've been having with uh, these new statues. But um, yeah, I'll do a, I'll do an update video, you know, transformers and stuff down there. But I put the lighting in, I've done all that. Got some uh, X-Men down there, a bit more Warcraft and yeah, so I'll do I'll do a bit of an update on this. What Lord of the Rings down here, which I've scaled back a bit at the moment because of the um, uh, Prime One series that I'm going to get. I'm still trying to figure out where to put certain statues. You know, the the alien there fits really well now. So much bigger shelving. Got a lot of Warcraft. Um, really happy with all that. And then I obviously got my space back over there to put some things, I'm gonna do some different shelving there. And my main display hasn't changed too much. So yeah, so I'll do another video on uh, Blackhand here. And this one was just a quick one on Duratan. Uh, unreal statue. Um, I We also hit over um, 3000 subscribers, so Thank you very much to everyone who's subscribed, and I'm not uh, doing it for that reason, but uh, I'm certain I'm just sort of doing these videos for you guys to have a look at and see some statues that you may may or may not be interested in. But um, just part of my collection. I've got obviously a lot of statues, and you know, can if you follow the channel, I, I do these videos just to give you guys a view of, you know, if you're thinking about these statues or if you want to buy them. Hopefully these videos help um, make your mind up with that. But um, I didn't put him on a, uh, a little spinny thing, so I'll try and give you a quick view of the back. Oh, that was terrible, sorry. So yeah, there's a hair. But uh, yeah, really, really phenomenal statue. And uh, congratulations, over 3,000 subscribers are hopefully um, people can, you know, get something out of this and if they're looking at this sort of statue or even ideas on, you know, making their own shelving and stuff, you know, that's what I aim to do, aim to be able to help with all that. So, hope you like this video and uh, hope you like this statue because it is a really, really well done. Um, and then stay tuned as well for Blackhand. I'll do a quick video on black hand as well and as always i've got probably i dare say 30 statues on pre-order to come in still um hence why i'm starting to build my own cabinets to to make them fit so yeah thanks very much for watching and uh 
please like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.